and the chairs today are Doug Thorpe from Haringey and uh, Natalie Islington. from Islington. Okay, the first item is the standing orders committee report. If they'd like to come and make the report, if there's anyone who feels they might need to challenge the report, could you come down and sit in these seats over there to my right so that we don't waste time with people walking around later? Right, thank you, Chair. John Pearson, Secretary of the Standing Orders Committee. Um, we, can you hear me? Yeah? Yeah. Um, we were charged yesterday um, in response to the challenges to the uh, SOC report with several changes to the agenda. The major one was slotting in half an hour on constitutional amendments. Um, another uh, major one was readmission of the solidarity policy to the uh, first session this morning on safe spaces, short code of conduct and solidarity guide. That necessitated us making some changes and I'll just briefly walk through what those are now. Um, the first session this morning after this report and any challenges to it um, will be session seven, safe spaces, short code of conduct and solidarity guide. And the chairs will tell you where these documents are in, in your documentation as we go through. We've uh, timetabled that for 35 minutes, 11.10 to 11.45. The second session will be on the annual report of the Disputes Committee, its standing orders and its procedures, which require conference approval. We've slotted that in from 11.45 to 12.10, 25 minutes. We've then made a reduction in the amount of time allocated to session 10 on equality from 30 minutes to 20 minutes. So that will then run up, run up to 12.30. We've been able to do that because we've assessed that the three motions will be uncontroversial. There's certainly no amendments to them, that they can be moved quickly. And we're suggesting that we have a group debate. All three motions are moved and then we take speakers from the floor summing up etc. So we can save 10 minutes there. At 12.30 to 12.35, which means a five minutes later to start for lunch, we'll have Ken Loach as speaker. Lunch is the same length as, as uh, proposed uh, yesterday, but it will just run to five minutes later than it, will, than it did. Immediately after lunch at 13.20, five minutes guest speak from the Ritzy Cinema Workers. Then we move into the Constitution and Democracy um, slot 13.25 to 14.10. We've just trimmed five minutes off that to help us make up time. Yesterday we had 20 minutes for floor speakers and we've just trimmed that to 15, which is still one of the longest floor speakers uh, allocations that we've had. 14.10 to 14.30 now is session 11 on austerity. Now that one is 10 minutes shorter and we've achieved that by the SOC submitting to Steve Freeman's challenge from yesterday. We will move the motion on um, um, austerity and a social republic into the constitutional amendments as Steve demanded. So that session can be trimmed by 10 minutes as a result. And also to make up a little bit more time, we're proposing group debate on that. So the motions moved one after another and then floor speakers up on any of the motions. The afternoon break, 14.30 to 14.45, that's a little bit earlier than scheduled so that we don't just have a 10-minute start to a new session and then break and then come back in. Immediately after the break, 14.45 to 15.25, uh, electoral strategy. So that's a little bit longer than in your printed agendas yesterday, but a little bit shorter in what should have been the correct printed agendas yesterday. So we've had to trim that a little bit from the hour that, that uh, we were proposing. That brings us up to 15.25. Last half hour, constitutional amendments. And however many we get through will depend on um, what amount of time that we save during the rest of the day. So that is the uh, plan for slotting uh, time into the agenda. Just one or two other things that came onto the SOC table yesterday. The safe spaces proposers want to make a, a lexical change to their report. There was a discussion that carried on after the end of the compositing um, deadline, or the deadline, sorry, for publication of the final. It wasn't, it wasn't a deadline for composites, that's not ended. 
but that's to replace the word denigrate in the um, second sentence under the heading to background with deny, diminish and damage. And the reason for that request is concern at the racial connotations of the word denigrate. And when we were addressing that, we dis discovered that the word is also in the solidarity policy. It's uh, paragraph number 11 under the heading 8, how we will operate as a party. Um, the housing um, session, motion here from Somerset and West Wiltshire. The branch has reported to the SOC that the convener of the Housing Policy Commission has indicated agreement to accept paragraph number four of their motion under the heading Left Unity Housing Policy Draft 1.1. So that um, concludes the SOC report, Chair. Thank you.